My name's Jim Bell. We have, for the last six years, uh, run the truck driving school uh, at uh, College of the Pages Addison campus. We have uh, over 400 graduates. Uh, we have about a, a high 90s uh, completion rate. We've only had a handful of people in six years that haven't got through the program. But probably more importantly, we have a 100% placement rate. We found at least one job for everybody who's come through our program. Many people leave with multiple job offers. Uh, there's probably a never, never been a better time to get into the truck driving industry because there's an extreme shortage of drivers at this stage of the game. Just a little bit more about our program, what we have as our assets. Uh, we've been registered by the Illinois Secretary of State, as I mentioned, since 2011. I think the main success of our program has been because of our instructors. Chris has been in it for 20 years. Um, Manny Valdez, who's been with us since the beginning, Manny's been in it longer than 20 years. Um, and Todd Anderson joined us a couple of years ago and he has over 10 years experience of driving, training, and instructing. Uh, we have good equipment. Uh, right now we have three vehicles. We have two uh, Freightliner over the road cabs. And we have a Mac, which is a single axle, what we call day cab, that's just a two seater. And we have uh, four, tri four trailers, two uh, three forty-eight footers and a 53 footer. And so Chris is gonna do most of the presentation this morning. He's gonna walk you through the program. Chris, you wanna Thank you. take over? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for coming down on a Saturday, we appreciate it. All right, so if you're interested in joining the program and you wanna register, the first thing we have to do is have you fill out a job style application. We ask you to be honest on that. If you've ever been arrested, DUIs, anything like that, because it helps us place you in a job. It also makes sure that at any point anyone can take the course, but also the ultimate goal of the course is to place you in a job. Uh, we need a copy of your current driver's license, Illinois driver's license, and then we would also need you guys to provide a court uh, purpose, which is a motor vehicle record. You have two motor vehicle records. You have one that goes back like three years, the core purpose goes back 10 years. That's what the trucking companies are gonna look at. You're also gonna to have to do a physical uh, exam and a drug screen. Anyone who drives CDL has to get what's called a DOT, Department of Transportation, medical card. It is a full physical. They're gonna check your top to bottom, make sure you're healthy enough to drive a CDL vehicle, a truck that weighs 80,000 pounds and you're not gonna pass out behind the wheel of it. Once you get the DOT card, then we're gonna help you get your permit. The permit has three phases. It has three separate tests. So you have the general knowledge, air brakes, and combination. Those three tests, when you pass those, you'll have a class A CDL permit or also known as a CLP, a commercial learner's permit. You know, all your written tests are taken at the Secretary of State office. The cost of those tests is $50 that you pay to the state. The state. That covers all three of those tests. That's gonna cover all three physical tests that you have to do to get the CDL, and that will cover the three endorsement tests that you do as well for tankers, doubles and triples, and hazmat. Uh, your permit, once you get it, is valid for six months. While you're with us at the facility as a student, you have to have the permit, your license, and your DOT card on your person at all times because the Secretary of State comes in and checks all truck driving schools. When you go to the Secretary of State facility, you need to have legal proof of presence. So you have to have a passport, green card, birth certificate, showing that you are able to work and live in the United States. All right, the courses. We only do class A CDL. There's class A, class B, class C, and class D. You all that drive a car right now have a class D license. Okay, the class A covers all of those. So if you have a class A license, you can drive B, C, and D. A Class A vehicle is a combination of vehicles with a gross combination weight rating of 26,001 pounds or more, providing that the gross vehicle weight rating is being towed as in excess of 10,000 pounds. So basically what that's saying is 26,001 pounds or more, that's your tractor. The 10,000 pounds or more, that's your trailer. And that's empty weight, that's not loaded, okay? So we have two courses that we offer. We have a 240 hour course, which is a six week course if you do it full time, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, 40 hours a week. Then we have a 160 hour course, which is a four week course. This course we advise only if you've had tractor trailer experience before or some sort of combination experience before. All right, so what are you guys gonna get while you're with us? We have classroom and we have behind the wheel instruction. So out of that 240 hours, 40 hours of that is classroom, which is 
the state's requirements as part of some of the requirements that they have, the minimum requirements. Uh, the rest of the time you're going to be either in the yard working on backing up, doing the skills course, or you're going to be on the road, or you're going to be working on your pre-trip, which is, to most our students feel, it's the most difficult test because it is a verbal description of parts and defects with the state examiner. It's kind of a weird thing to walk around with a state official and tell them about tires, you know, but you have to know that stuff. So even if you guys have never driven a commercial motor vehicle before, you'll be able to complete all of Secretary of State's requirements in six weeks. We offer endorsements for tanker, hazardous materials, and double and triple trailer driving. That's what we like to call the uh, master degree in trucking, right? So some people have MBAs, you get a fully endorsed CDL. With some of those courses, the way that it works, if you're gonna come full-time, all endorsements are included. That also is if you do our part-time full-time. So basically what we have is we're open Monday through Friday, eight to 4.30. That would be attending full-time 40 hours a week. We also have nights and weekends. So if you can't do that, you're working during the day, we have nights and weekends, which depending on, we let the class choose usually because it's a smaller class. The instructor, Todd Anderson, will work with the class on which schedule works the best. But it's either Monday through Thursday, 5 to 9, or it's Tuesday through Friday, 5 to 9, and then they do a Saturday. Uh, you, sometimes they do two Saturdays a month. This class that's going through now, they've been doing every Saturday. One thing that's nice about our course, we have a Secretary of State examiner that comes to our facility and tests you. So you don't have to practice at our facility and then get sent down to the state and work on a, a course you've never worked on before. Okay, so you're gonna test where you practice. The three uh, tests that you have to take to get the CDL will be, of course, the pre-trip. Again, that verbal description of parts and defects. Then you have a skills test, which is an obstacle course in the yard. It's a backing obstacle course to prove that you can back up safely enough to be on your own. Then the road test that you're gonna take is a four mile course around the industrial park in Addison there, where we're located at TCD. Uh, and once you pass that, then you can obtain the CDL. At that point, we'll go through your permitting, uh, or excuse me, your endorsements with you, get those tagged onto your license, and at that point you'd be licensed. You guys come back, give us a copy, we get you set up with your job, and on you go, okay? Job placement. Why are we really here, right? How much money can I make, and where can I work? We currently work with over 50 companies in trucking. We have regular visits uh, from recruiters, so, you guys are kind of kind of feel like high school athletes being recruited, okay? Because the trucking industry needs drivers. It's at a point. It's kind of like Jim was saying earlier. For many of reasons, there's a huge driver loss. This is the average salary from Indeed.com for Illinois-based drivers. The benefits are the greatest, which is awesome. You guys are going to have 401k, you know, healthcare, profit sharing. Some of the companies that we work for give you 100% coverage on healthcare for you and your entire family. So that's a huge thing. So if you're making a salary, a starting salary as an entry level driver of $58,000 a year, you're not having healthcare taken off of that. You're truly making that $58,000, okay? The current driver shortage is estimated at about 50,000 and that's only going up. The average age of truck drivers right now is 55. So in 10 years, you're gonna have another large group of drivers that move on. But there's a lot of great jobs out there. You guys are gonna have the best equipment, which is really nice. Most of these companies, some of the oldest trucks they have are 2015s. So they realize that having good equipment, especially if you're gonna be driving over the road with all the bells and whistles on it, you know, nice comfy bed, PlayStation, flat screen TVs, satellite TV, all that kind of stuff. Fridges, microwaves, okay, creature comfort stuff. They have that and the trucks are really nice. Also, a lot of the industry is going to automatics. So you have a fleet that's mainly half automatics now. Right now we have a 99% completion rating and we have 100% job placement. So all the students who've been through the program, completed the program, have, have a job or been offered a job. So let me talk a little bit about funding and then we'll do more questions. Um, the course, the Class A course costs $4,500. Um, uh, if, uh, if you're doing the 240 hours. It costs 3200 if it, if you qualify for the 160. And there's essentially two ways that people pay for this. If you're paying on your own, uh, we can set up a payment program for you. We'll take $1,000 down and we will um, 
uh, make a payment plan for you to pay us with the last payment due the day before your test. About 60% of the people who come through this, uh, this program come through on a grant. And the grant's called the work, it used to be called the Workforce Investment Act. It's now called WIOA. It's a federal government grant and it's designed uh, to get people who are unemployed or underemployed. By underemployed, I mean if you have a minimum wage job or if you have less than a full-time job uh, with no benefits, for instance, um, that would be underemployment. Unemployment is obvious, uh, you're out of work. Uh, so if you think you fall into either of those categories, you can apply for the grant. If you get the grant, it pays for everything. It pays the $4,500, and the $4,500 includes the physical. Those are basically the two ways that people pay for the course. Um, we should also mention that a lot of the employers that hire from us will have tuition reimbursement programs. So they will pay the $3,200 or the $4,500 back to you. They won't give it to you on your first paycheck because <laughs> you may be working for somebody else the next week. They'll give it to you in installments over the first six or nine months they're with you. Um, if they don't have tuition reimbursements, a lot of them have uh, sign-on bonuses where they'll do, this, they'll do the same thing. Uh, the college has uh, set up a program called um, the alternate, alternate loans. Um, and if you, if you su apply successfully for that, you can get a loan that will probably be allow you to pay back longer than our, um, the paper that we carry. So as Chris kind of encapsulated, um, uh, this is a decent job. There's essentially three types of driving jobs. There's long distance uh, driving, there's regional driving, and there's local driving. If you have a long distance job, and some of the companies like Maverick that hire from us make no bones about it, you're not getting home every week. We are a long distance carrier, but we pay a lot of money. And you can be away two or three weeks at a time. There's regional driving, which will guarantee that you'll be home at least once a week. You'll be home on the weekends. That's uh, you're driving the Midwest region, if you will, the 10 states in the Midwest. And there's local driving. Local driving will get you home every night. But it typically doesn't pay as much as long distance or regional. As, as Chris said, the average truck driving salary in Illinois, if you look up a job site like indeed.com, is about $61,000. Some people make more, some people make less. As you start off, typically you'll be making less. It's a job that you should be concerned. Or if you've been out of work for two years, where else can you take a six week course and get a job right away that you know you're gonna make you know, good money?